In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your home seer system so that you can receive notifications when your clothes washer or your dryer have finished. And I'm going to use an Aon Labs Smart Energy Strip in order to set this up. To get started, mount the Smart Energy Strip near your washer and dryer and plug them in. Now in my case, I have a propane dryer that runs on a 120 volt motor. In your case, you might have an electric dryer and you might need to add a heavy duty smart switch in order to monitor that. The next step will be to add the smart strip to your home seer system. Use the Ztool Plus mobile app in order to do this, or you can do it from the web GUI itself. Once the smart strip has been added to your home seer system, It'll look something like what you see on the page here now. Uh, in fact, the smart strip has six receptacles on it. Four of those receptacles are controllable. So the devices that you see here that have on and off buttons uh, represent the receptacles that can be controlled. In addition to that, the smart strip has devices for kilowatt hours, which monitors the accumulated um, energy that's being used. And there's also devices to monitor the watts, the actual real-time power consumption. Now when the smart strip is first added to HomeSeer, you're going to get something like smart strip 1, smart strip 2, smart strip 3, 4, 5, and 6. And when you go into the device, what you're going to find on the status graphics page is quite simple. There's up top numbers that represent the range of watts for the device and the range goes from this gigantically huge negative number to this gigantically huge positive number and then below that you're going to see a graphic that appears when the device falls within that range. Now what I've done is I've taken this device for two of the receptacles and I've modified it a little bit so for example um, the first one here, I'm calling it Closed Dryer Watts, so I've renamed it that. And then on the Status Graphics page, I've taken this gigantic range up at the top of the screen and I've split it into two different ranges in the bottom where the, the actual status icons are appearing. So for the first range, I've gone to the gigantically huge negative number from that all the way up to zero that represents the dryer being turned off. So I'm associating it with this graphic here, uh, this gray graphic of a dryer that's off. Then I took uh, the next range and I began that just above zero. So in this case I went to 0 .001. From that to all the way up to the gigantically huge top of the range, that represents wattage that's flowing through the receptacle and so I've associated that with the status icon that shows the dryer on. And I've done exactly the same thing for the washer. So when we go back to uh, the device here, if you look at the washer and I go to that status graphics page, same thing, a little bit different change in the, the actual graphics themselves. This looks more like my washing machine on and off and so forth, but I've done the same thing with the values. Very small number up to zero, so anything that's zero or under is basically off, and anything that's above zero is basically on. Okay, so here's how it all comes together. When I turn my washing machine on down in the basement, power flows through that receptacle, and on my touch screen up in the kitchen, the status icon for the washer turns on. Then when I turn the dryer on, the same thing's going to happen. Power will flow through that receptacle, and upstairs in the kitchen, the touchscreen icon for the dryer turns on. Now at the end of the cycles, you're going to see the reverse happen. Only I'm going to play a little chime. And speak. Clothes dryer has just finished. And the same thing will happen with the washer as well. When that cycle ends and it powers down, clothes washer has just finished. Pretty cool, huh? And that's how it works.